reintroduction of plant life and better understanding the health and resilience of Colorado's pollinators and their ecosystems, we can then strengthen our ecosystems, ensure that our pollinators and therefore our flora and fauna are in a position to thrive, and which really helps the entire natural world and ecosystem. I want to thank uh, the legislative sponsors, Representative Kip, Representative Froelich, Senator Hawkins Lewis, and Senator Priola for this important uh, bipartisan bill. And uh, I know the first gentleman, Marlon Reese, wants to say a few words, and then we'll turn it over to our sponsors. my step around here. Uh, I, I don't have formal remarks, so uh, I really just want to say thank you to the bill sponsors, to uh, Sonia, you, uh, you and, and Kathy and Meg, you guys have worked on this uh, for several years, and uh, your commitment to uh, helping animals has been um, constant and wonderful, uh, and you are doing the important work of connecting the dots of how, uh, how when we help non-human life, we also help animal life. And uh, that's wonderful work, it's necessary work, uh, and so I am here to give thanks that you ran this wonderful bill, uh, and to give thanks that the governor is signing it and uh, to express my excitement about uh, a future where we really plan, um, plan and uh, implement policies that will help our pollinators. Thank you so much. And, uh, this bill is not just about the study, it's also about coming back to the General Assembly uh, recommendations that are based on the study, and that's based on science, and that's what's so important to improve our pollinator ecosystems. With that, I'll turn it over to our lead sponsor, Senator Hawkins Lewis. Thank you, Governor, and thank you, First Gentleman. You've been such a supporter with the CLAW Caucus, and the Governor has been su such a supporter with all of our environmental rights. So I'm State Senator Sonia Hawkes Lewis. I have Eastern Boulder County, the L Towns, Lafayette, Louisville, and Longmont. But this is amazing to be here in the Butterfly Pavilion. So, what is all this buzz about, right? Bees and butterflies and pollinating insects, of course. Um, thank you to all the folks that really did the hard work on this. Um, I have to uh, have to do a shout out to them because you've been so instrumental. So, Becky Long is here. Melissa Ordnight is here. Alice is back in the back. Yay, Alice Cosgrove Horgan, thank you so much. You really got us through this. Um, and so many people with PPAN, the People and Pollinators Action Network. Joyce Kennedy is here. Rella Abernathy from the city of Boulder. Sue Anderson making the right phone calls at the right times. You know what I'm talking about. To keep these things going. Um, this is the bill that would not die. So you might not know this, but Rep Kip and I had a previous pollinator bill in 2020, and because of COVID, we had to pull the plug on that. And then earlier this session, a, another iteration of a pollinator bill actually didn't make it out of committee, but because of really some tenaciousness and some perseverance and the support of all of you, we were able to bring this bill up and have this study happen. Um, there's over a hundred groups, so each of you really represent a group from across the state um, that kept the emails going, everything from Girl Scouts to gardeners, farmers to beekeepers, all kinds of groups stepped up so that we could pass this. And why? Why? It's because Colorado is home to over 950 native species and 250 butterflies. So that's really what we're trying to do is understand why we have declining pollinator uh, populations. And we think that this will help us come up with a comprehensive plan across state departments so that we can, uh, I'm hoping they're landing on me, so that we can, we can uh, take a look at what's happening and see if we can come up with how to fix it. So uh, really quickly, just one more note on this. 28 states across the country have passed pollinator bills since 2019. And so I really wanna make sure that 
Um, we don't get stung here, so to speak, in Colorado, and we join that group, and I know the governor's going to help us do that. And I'm going to end with a joke about my favorite pollinators. Okay, and if anybody knows the answer, you can scream it out, because we're being informal here, I think. Um, what pollinates most of Colorado's crops, rough, roughly 80%, but doesn't take any credit for it? A humble bee. <laughs> thank, thank you. Thank you to the governor. Thank you to my team, everyone that worked on this. Um, let me turn it over to Rep. Oh, to Rep. Kip wants to go next. And what a champion Rep. Kip has been on this. Thank you all. Hey, thank you everybody for coming today. We're really excited about this bill. Um, you know, um, as uh, Senator Hawkins Lewis said, uh, back in 2020, we started with one pollinator bill. Last year, I had another pollinator bill that I worked with a lot of you on, on the pollinator license plate, which I believe should be coming out next month in June, if you want a special pollinator license plate. Um, this is the next step in that process, and I look forward to seeing what the recommendations are coming out of the study so that we can move forward and continue to make progress to keep our pollinators healthy, and productive here in Colorado. So thank you everybody for coming out today. It's much appreciated. And thank you to everybody who spent time on this. You guys are all rock stars. Thank you. Thank you so much, Governor, for signing this bill today. Thank you so much to the first gentleman for his unwavering support. Thank you to P. Pan, Joyce Kennedy, and all of you folks as well here at Conservation Colorado. We are here in recognition of this unique relationship between pollinators and humans. In recognition of that, we really need to change that relationship to an alliance. And we really need to be working for our pollinators because they are the original worker bees. So um, I'm so glad to be taking this first step as we've all acknowledged, this is a first step. And then the next step will be to take those recommendations and really implement them and make a difference to Colorado. So thanks you all. The hard, heavy lifting preceded us in, before it came to the house um, and many years prior in our um, many um, opportunities that uh, we couldn't quite capitalize on. So I'm so happy to be here today. <laughs>